Howdy doody gamers! Welcome to Retrocade, we asked you guys to name most iconic, stepping out moments in games. So here we go. The Elder Scrolls, Skyrim. Skyrim was not only many people's first Elder Scrolls title, but also many players' first open world game. So it really had to nail this spot, and it's probably safe to say it passed with flying colors. When you step out of the dingy dungeons beneath Helgen, you find yourself greeted with a lush, chilly landscape that's entirely yours to explore as you see fit. With a clear path in front of you and a single quest marker, you have some direction, but you're sure to be sidetracked by something along the way, just as intended. Star Wars Jedi Survivor. Sometimes, a good stepping out moment is there to tell you that this isn't the game you remember. Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order had its share of secrets and branching paths, but it was, by and large, a linear experience. But when its successor, Star Wars Jedi Survivor, came about, the scope expanded almost exponentially, with plenty of separate but vast open worlds to explore. This shot in Jedi, Survivor serves to demonstrate just how much more freedom you're about to enjoy compared to the first game. Landing on Kobo in search of Cal's old buddy Grease, you take in a massive gorge that only serves as the first step into a larger world. How thematically appropriate for Star Wars. Horizon Forbidden West. While not as drastic as the differences between Star Wars Jedi, Survivor, and Fallen Order, the changes seen in Horizon Forbidden West, after its predecessor, Horizon Zero Dawn, are anything but minor. This most notably includes the visuals showcased spectacularly during a particularly breathtaking scene early in the game. You find yourself taking a long cable car ride down into the region you'll be running around in for the duration of Forbidden West story, aside from the excellent Burning Shores DLC. But rather than serving as a simple cutscene, this slow descent allows you to remain in control of the camera as it plays out, giving you an expansive view of your new playground out west. Fallout 4. This one is unique in that it gives you a sort of before and after view of the world. The prologue of Fallout 4 sees you spending a few minutes with your family just before the bombs drop, and you have to rush to the vault for safety. Despite the urgency, you do get a nice little view of the Sanctuary Hills suburbs on the way. Then, when you emerge topside once again, you're given a hauntingly beautiful view over the streets you just ran through, along with some other points of interest off in the distance. Just enough information to entice you as you begin your journey. Way too bright. Mass Effect 2. This one is a bit different, since you probably already know that Mass Effect 2 isn't an open world game. But it does have one very special moment in its intro that sets the scope for the whole game. And it's one that still leaves people breathless all these years later. During the introduction, when Commander Shepard is under attack from an unknown enemy, they step out into the Normandy's galaxy map room to find it not only destroyed, but cracked open like a particularly sleek egg. You can see straight into the vacuum of space, as well as an imposing nearby planet, immediately telling you that this is going to be a far different experience from the first game. The Elder Scrolls IV, Oblivion. Bethesda practically invented and perfected the stepping out moment, and the work they put into the first thing you see in an open world is always evident. They want you to have two pieces of information. First, this is a wide open world for you to explore at your own pace. And second, they have a soft suggestion or two on where to start. The opening of the Elder Scrolls, Oblivion is one example of that philosophy, where the first thing you see upon exiting those sewers after a traumatic event, another shockingly common yet oddly comforting Bethesda trope, is a carefully curated view of an intriguingly crumbly ruin, backed by a sprawling land of infinite possibilities. Not even yet a twinkle in the adoring fan's eye, and you're ready for adventure. Fallout 3. This is perhaps the quintessential version of the stepping out moment. At the very least, it's the instance you might initially envision when you hear the term, and for good reason. Like with Oblivion, Bethesda crafted this first glimpse of the Washington DC wasteland in Fallout 3, after escaping from Vault 101 with meticulous detail. You're taken to a scenic overlook, where you can glimpse landmarks, like a red rocket station, 
and the settlement of Megaton all the way to the Capitol building itself. The amount of information this shot gives you, while never forcing you in any one direction, remains impressive even to this day. It's no wonder Fallout 3's step out moment remains a favorite. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.